Hey everyone, Jenny here, and welcome back to Dishonored. I'm wearing another Skull shirt. Skull, he's praying to the guitar, but we're not focusing on the guitar, we're just focusing on the skeleton. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now, the tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible mess. Piero's request is denied. Piero, no, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal? TV and ore? What's wrong with the metals in crystal? King Sparrow feathers? If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe at the alchemy everything you needed was paid off for by tariff and handed out willy-nilly, but this is my bar, or what's left of it, and we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, building materials, and everything else, so you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchase unless they're absolutely required. No more copper wire or special herbs. <laughs> if you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city is in ruins, so no one is going to miss any of the odd crap you seem to need. Admiral Havelock. A second solution. Excerpt from a series of newspaper articles from prominent natural philosophers by Piero Joplin. It is through no fault of my own that the average citizen has expressed a preference for Sokolov's elixir over my Sokolov's elixir over my own formula, sold as Piero's remedy, a name I did not choose. If you must know the truth, the public has spoken its usual message of idiocy. Fuck. Of idiocy, spending their coin as means of selecting Sokolov's formula over mine, which I believe to be equal, if not superior. Much has been made over the popularity of these concoctions as a means of resisting this remarkable new plague. I say remarkable because this strain works with an efficiency we have not seen in the history of the Empire. This plague, now making its way through the, the city of Dunwall, is unraveled in its effectiveness. Unrivaled. <laughs> I have studied it within the blood of those so afflicted, and it's nearby perfect, elegant in fact. <clears throat> And while it is true that Piero's remedy and Sokolov's elixir are known to protect the body against the plague equally, my own is properties not fully understood which relate to the mind itself and the spirit. And it is in this way that my formula wins out. Here is where one should pay attention to the contest. For you see, Sokolov's elixir, with its emphasis on brute animal body, is a crass goo... Is a crass goo? Better lived for livestock. The subtle and secret variants in this key and the key ingredients making up Piero's remedy ensure that it works on the higher functions that separate humankind from the mindless blue-jawed hagfish swimming in the Renhaven River. Okay. Well, that was a lot of information. Just... Bleh. So basically, they're giving Piero credit... for somehow resisting the plague, um, which would be remarkable, and I can understand how they could call it Piero's Remedy. But, let's go take care of this oil. And eat all his things, because I'm injured. Whale vivisection. Excerpt from the notes of a natural philosopher aboard a whaling ship. Remarkably, each specimen I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variants of philosophy and physiology. On the second leg of the trip, east of Tivia, the crew hauled aboard a female some 42 feet in length. I estimate she weighed 35 tons and the ship sat low, rocking side to side through the night with her thrashing. By candlelight, I took her apart, sketching and taking notes. Against her bellowing, I cut into the mass of tentacles around her mouth. Within I found row upon row of teeth and a baleen running along the upper jaw. Through this broom-like structure, I assumed she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed. 
holy shit, there's a lot of, of uh, literature. Whale oil processing. Excerpt from the founder of the Greaves Whale House. Out at sea, they secure the beast with hooks with line cast from the main ship and from several smaller boats. Buoys keep the whale from diving deep. Once it's caught, a larger hook is driven through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them into the deck, onto the deck, then lift them into the scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow and returns port to Dunwall, where the crew works on the great creature, slicing off the fattest parts while it still lives. Brutal. My god! Hold on, hold on. We're just gonna... The Academy teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might, by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances developed. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities subject to the necessary legal demands. Oh, 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 I see, I see. Okay. There we go. Can I throw this? Oh, God. <laughs> Oops. I know he said it was, like, dangerous. <laughs> but it, it gave me the option to throw it. I felt compelled. Oh, well. It was fun. Perfect. Now I'll plug it in. Oh. Just get it near the receptor. Perfect. Thank you, Corey. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will be in terror. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Send the lens out of alignment. Oh, he's getting that mask. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Okay. Allows you to rewire circuitry and turn security systems to your advantage. Oh, okay. That's a hundred. I've seven sixty one. A trap that can be placed on any nearby surface. Nearly any nearby surface. Let's see what it upgrades. Crossbow aim, range, faster reload. Makes the sword more effective when locking blades and pushing against an enemy. Increases radius. Pistol upgrades. Accuracy. Magnify your view. Bullet capacity. Bullet capacity. Grenade capacity. Bone charm. Enables one additional pone, bone charm to be active. What is a bone charm? Hmm. Well, this definitely sounds like I want it. Disable security devices to make them work in your favor by using a rewire tool on the circuitry panel for the security device you want to hack. Rewired walls of light, arc pylons, and watchtowers will harm your enemies instead of you. Right. Okay. So I think that was worth it. 
Um, you know, I'm trying to go full stealth, so I feel like I would want to zoom. But I still am really curious what this bone charm capacity is. Let's see if I can... You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. I'd like to look around for a while. Very well. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. That seems dangerous. Now I'm kind of curious if I need to be exploring this huge area out here because. Tell me what I can make for you. Oh, not now. Um. But at the same time, there's so much that it's almost overwhelming, and I feel like I'm going to eventually come back here. So. I don't feel rewarded enough for exploring to like want to explore. So far at least. It's still early, but I did miss out on a lot of those little secret things. Hold on, let's see if I can get any information. My objective right now is just to go to bed. These are all the Yeah, I don't want that. Um uh, there's no way to view Like how many of those posters there were, and the stuff that I did missed all in the first mission? That's not a thing? Hmm. Okay. Oh god, that fish is gonna get me again. Freaking evil fish. Uh, I feel like I already searched. Oh, let me see if I can talk to this guy again. You've met Piero. Good. You'll want to get some rest now. You'll be needed soon. Everyone wants me to sleep. It's almost a little fishy. No pun intended with all the, you know, whale literature. What's that? Oh, feathers. Oh, it just costs money. Hmm. Okay. Speaking of those posters, I need to... I don't know if I should be looking out for them again, or... And an apartment. Okay. All right, let's just um, let's just go to sleep. Gross. Oh, you know what? That's a perfect place to hide bodies. Okay, I have a feeling I'm coming back here. Everyone wants us to sleep, so. Lydia. Hi. You must be Corvo. I am Lydia, at your service. Your room is upstairs and ready. When they told me who it was, well... I thought you'd be older, like the Admiral. I'm sorry it's so dark, we can't risk being seen. It is a bit romantic though, isn't it? Okay, lady. Oh, it's a song. 
Ow. <laughs> Instead of sailor, it's whaler. Whoa. This is a much darker version. Feed him to the hungry rats for dinner. Slice his throat with a rusty cleaver. Stuff him in a sack and throw him over. Okay. Harpooner song, it's appropriate. Yes, very much so, but no need to fear. He is here to work with our masters. People say he killed the Empress. Cecilia and did. Wallace. People are foolish and believe whatever they're told. I feel like they thought about the names. They're like, we need to think of some cool, kind of unique names. Well, I want to talk to you guys. Please follow me to your quarters. Oh no, not yet. I want to look around more. Hold up. You can wait. Havelock entry one. Havelock log entry one. It has been days since our men were dispatched to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope that they succeeded in getting the packages delivered. Piero spent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass produce them, the Dunwall Navy would secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Coldridge, and if so, will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of one in five. Well, you were wrong. Ass. Oh. Seems we've moved to a new phase. Martin's improvisations have borne fruit. The former bodyguard has been freed and is en route to the staging location. Pendleton's voting block and my military connections. All we've lacked is the ability to project lethal force in a controlled manner against a previously inaccessible. Ah, to the point. Don't mind me while I rob you guys of all your stuff. Corvo is more than capable of that, I have no doubt. End ball. This is off. Switch. Switch. Man. I may not read all of these aloud because there's just so many of them. And I could read them faster in my head. So, you can always pause it. <laughs> Narrating is fun sometimes, but it's just a little long. Well, this is sad. I mean, he's basically lost hope. He obviously was very affected by the Empress dying. Wait, this was volume one. This one was volume two? Did I read these out of order? Oh gosh, it's stuck. Oh yeah, that is volume two. Okay. So this, I'm assuming, happened before. My sister Nina, Nina and I left Tivia together, saying goodbye to our aunt, the woman who had raised us since childhood, leaving behind our home city of Yarrow, and the cold but beautiful white landscapes we had always known. We boarded ship for Dunwall. Our parents had left us with a sizable inheritance, and we spent half of this getting to the capital city and establishing a small import shop dedicated to Tivia and furs. Once, we've, once I'd helped Nina establish the business, I was free to pursue my dream. Signing on with a whaling ship was the most exciting thing I'd ever done, and I saw it as a means to an end. Someday I would captain my own crew and eventually own a fleet of sm similar vessels. With tears in her eyes, Nina kissed me farewell, and I did not see her again for many months. As an apprentice to the gaffer, I got to see the tracking and killing of the great beasts up close. Nothing had ever fired my spirit so as the wind and pounding waves racing after a wounded whale being pulled off being pulled by a skein of cobbles embedded in its thick flesh. Cobbles? <laughs> Cables. <laughs> cobbles. I changed more in those first seven months 
than I had in the previous seven years, wailing was beginning to put its mark on me so that Nina barely recognized me when I returned. Tanned and sinewy, with muscle weather creases already wrinkling the corners of my eyes, but she could see that I was filled with joy having found my purpose. Okay, this is just a book on naval history. While each of the Isles has some form of naval fleet, none is more envied than that of the Gristol with its long, proud history of great ships and the admirables who command them. Boys come of age in the cities of Gristol, hoping to someday captain such a ship, and family dynasties are made by those captains who track down infamous pirates or crush seditious uprisings, as during the Morley Insurrection. In times of war and peace, Gristle continues to innovate at sea. The ship designs of Anton Sokolov himself now represent the highest standard in the whaling trade, allows crews to haul their kill up over the deck and begin their butchery and processing, even as the ship returns to Dunwall. The crews can be seen working on their latest whale as the ship moves slowly in the Ren Renhaven River, coming to dock with one of the powerful warehouse companies, such as the Greaves Whaling House. Suspended in the rigging overhead and backlit by the setting sun, the silhouette of one of these creatures makes a moving sight as it cruises to its final res resting place in the industrial heart of the capital city. Okay. Oh, I lost track of... I didn't go through here yet. Give me your nice things so I can sell it. Sup? Lord Pendleton. Hello, Lord Pendleton. Why won't you talk? You, oh, there we go. I saw you at court in happier days. Give me your apple tartlet. You, might not remember. I was you don't get food. The Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs, back when he was just the spy master. He's pretty gaunt looking. He's one manipulative bastard, I can tell you that. I wasn't super paying attention. What happened? Did you do that? I did do that. He doesn't like that I did that. Is that that's probably just rude, right? I'm just like throwing bottles. It's probably a dick move. God Corvo. You're such a dick. Can I like I kinda wanna throw this at him just to see what happens. What was that? What is this? Really? I just threw a bottle at you. That's what it was. You couldn't tell? You didn't feel it? Okay. Anyway. Obviously, this is not what you're supposed to do. Um, uh, my gut says downstairs first. Oh. Well then, don't I feel sheepish. Oh, what's this? Ooh, this is dark and spooky. I don't know if I like this. Mm. Am I gonna have to like escape from rats? Mm, that would be scary. Okay. Oh gosh, why am I doing this to myself? This is not supposed to be a scary game. But I'm like intrigued. That's it? No? Okay. I don't. You guys can hear that, but there's like rattling chains. It's creepy. It's very subtle. Okay, that's not meant to be done yet. Corvo's bed, that is the destination. That is where we're heading. Oh, there's more. Okay. Oh no, it's just a wall. Fold me. Is that her again? Oh. I used to be the hostess here. Oh, I could tell you stories about that, believe me. Yeah, I'm sure you want to tell me stories. Oh, well then. Hmm. Maybe we should just sleep first. This is your room. It was chosen to give you privacy. I understand you'll need your rep. Well, they definitely gave me the biggest room. So far, at least, that I've seen. Oh, we come on, we don't get to talk more? Okay. They really want me to sleep. They're just really pressuring. I feel like I'm gonna wake up and be in prison again or something. 
It was all a dream. Sleep. I think it's interesting that they call the doors unbreakable. That must be relevant later on. signs of blood on their face and chest area. The only way to help them is to bring them to the city watch. They will be taken now, to the can I like break this? Oh, cool. I foresee some cool opportunities there. Although breaking glass right on top of someone would probably alert them. Still. All right, all right. We're gonna sleep. Oh, what's that? Ah, see. Good thing I didn't sleep. Okay, now we're gonna sleep. Oh, what's it? It's just a bottle. Okay. Somewhere else. Okay. That's it. Oh. What? There was definitely a door there before. Or a doorway, I should say. knew is a trap something's not right yeah no shit whoa okay this is not at all what I expected this game to be this is trippy as shit I kind of just want to jump off just to see what happens yeah okay we're gonna do it uh, oh oh hello Corvo your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that men call magic, and now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Come find me. Interesting. Press left trigger to execute a fast and stealthy forward dash through the world. You can also use it to move upward, but the distance is reduced. Aiming at ledges will allow you to blink forward and climb up. Target your destination, a blue spear shows. Okay. 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 <laughs> I guess I was supposed to fall off that edge and... Okay. 